Yeah, good morning. Uh, this is Bang Bang Rail. How many people uh, on my podcast have uh, drove down from Chiswick, uh, Chiswick for flyover, uh, the A4 or the M4, and gone down to the roundabout and uh, seen on the right hand side uh, an old shack, uh, like bottles and bins and all that outside, yeah? Uh, ever, anybody ever seen anybody come out of there? Um, no. But well, there's an old boy that lived there, yeah? He lived there, what, 36 years? He died um, January last year um, at 70 years of age, 70 odd years of age. He died of natural causes. And there's just a little thing about it. Um, it's, a, it's a sad old thing, isn't it? But um, his his uh, wife and his little girl, and he also himself were driving the car to Chiswick Roundabout, and it's evidently uh, there'll be accident there. His wife died, uh, his daughter died, and since that time, he built that shack under there, and every, so many times they tried to get him out of there, police said everything, but he's gone mad, they just left it, because why have all the aggravation, yeah? Just left him there, and he had bottles and bottles and bottles of water. I remember, I remember when we was like, uh, what, going past it one day, and we stopped, uh, just to trap on there, see if he needed anything, we'd get him what he wanted. And he chased us down the road with a piece of wood. On my life, seriously. Come on, I mean, old boy like that, he went mad, he went mad at us, you know, but he was absolutely uh, filthy dirty. And he must get a lot of stuff, people must drop stuff there, like clothes. He didn't look uh, too, uh, like I'm saying, he didn't look absolutely rag, ragged up, all ragged up, and, but he, the clothes he has were quite together. But I remember um, him sitting around about, uh, you've got a garage to the right, yeah? I remember sometimes being in there with my pals filling up the car, and you see him uh, with his water, all his water bottles and jugs and bits and pieces filling up his water, and he had them on string so he could put them around his neck and uh, walk, walk to his place with all the water, yeah? And my mate Pat Sweet, um, Pat Sweet, scaffolder, anybody know Pat Sweet from, from Lambert Grove? And that is a fruitcake, Pat. Anyway, but he had a heart of gold. Big, big heart, mate. And he used to help anybody out, Pat, anybody, honestly. He's such a nice guy. And one day, um, he was telling me that he went there uh, with a box of fruit and vegetables and stuff like that, and all tins of stuff in a big box, in a big one of them big egg boxes, yeah? And just knocked on the thing and walking, walking back to the lorry, back to his scaffold lorry, the old boys come out there and started throwing bricks at it, bricks at the lorry. Um, smashed all the back screen of uh, Pat's uh, motor and Pat couldn't stop laughing, you know what I mean? Because the old boy was going mad, you know, all you want to do is help him, you know? His name was uh, John o O'Dwyer um, and evidently I, be, I looked at a bit of his, his back and back was his, um, his family were involved in the big Irish warfare uh, years ago, and the, uh, there was quite a, quite a handful of colonels and co all that sort of person in his family. Uh, he was evidently supposed to be a bit of a fighter. Uh, that's why I'm really doing my podcast, really, and my video, because he's, evidently he was, he, he was quite a good boxer as well, yeah? So, um, you know, what, you know, just guts you to think that there's an accident with your, with your wife and your child, and it was fatal, and uh, you're there as well, and you just don't leave them, mate. You stay there for 36 years. He died in natural causes, of course. Um, but when I when when I was told that, I mean, that he used to walk round Chiswick roundabout uh, at night time, sometimes two, three in the morning. Uh, this is you know I'm, I'm I'm finding it all out now. He used to walk around at two or three o'clock in the morning. Uh, just walk around the roundabout. I mean, must be looking for his wife and his child. I mean, come on out. How painful it must it be. He must have loved them. So we all love our wife and our kids. But that was unbelievable what he'd done there, you know what I mean? But he used to walk around there uh, three or four times, uh, maybe looking for him, maybe even talking to him, you don't know. Uh, they did They did give him a, a flat, a council, Hounslow Council. Um, but he st I think he stayed there for one night and couldn't stay there because he wanted to be close to his wife and, and, and the child. It's a shame, it's a terrible, terrible shame that, that someone like that, I mean, how many people, I mean, 
he chased me down, as he chased us down the road when we touched, when we touched him. But how many people have gone by there, looked at it and, and done nothing, just drove by there, looked at it and, and not even bothered. Not even bothered, you know. But the people go, yeah, the old tramp. But the old tramp lived there 36 years, mate. And um, he lived there with a broken heart, you know what I mean? Broken heart, mate. His wife and his child died around the roundabout, you know. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. This is a little video of um, this guy uh, this guy, um, I tell you what, as a young girl, yeah, I've, I've not, I was told about this, but I don't know her name. A young girl, um, 20 years of age, 21 years of age, who should walk down there. I think she used to see him. Uh, she made friends with him. But she put up a ch big charity uh, to get him a plaque, a plaque above above the uh, above the, uh, the M4, the M4, the pillars there. So I put a plaque where he, where he lived. Um, whether or not he, she done it, I don't know. But if anybody goes past Chiswick Roundabout, and have a look, yeah, is it, is, is it there? Let me know, yeah, because um, I'd love to find out there's a plaque with his name on it and all that. Anyway, this is uh, Bang Bang Rail. Just good morning and have a nice day, yeah? Bye.